Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, so we are trying to find out what the hell happened with the Randy Gregory situation. Um, I'm sitting here thinking because, you know, Mike Fisher's gone through and he's showing what the contract is and so on and says, you know, basically it's the agent's fault and and taking him to Denver because he's really a Denver Bronco fan. And that may be true that he would like to get him there and so on. But I want to try and recap this because I'm trying to understand this, okay? Because in the end, uh, I guess we are actually fighting over something that doesn't really matter, the, the semantics of it. The reality is, is what we have to actually deal with is we lost a player that was a good player, and we now have to replace him. There's nothing we can do at this point about getting said player back. The only thing we can do is deal with whoever's going to be here going forward. So that's our big worry right now. Now, we, we've heard that Von Miller has interest. We know that Demarcus Lawrence excuse me, DeMarcus Ware is trying to coax him in there. You know, there were teammates, of course, in Denver, won that Super Bowl together. We know that um, Bobby Wagner, there's exploratory talk somewhere in there. I believe the longer it goes before Bobby Wagner is signed, the better it is for the Cowboys. In the end, we don't know. But I'm going to say this much. Well, no, let, let's recap this first. Let, let's, let's recap this first. We'll go to the Pat McAfee show. With Ian Rappaport. So Randy Gregory gets a really nice extension. Well, first with the Cowboys and then with the Broncos. That was fun this morning. What um, happened there? So he reaches an agreement with the Cowboys. Um, I find out about it. I tweet it. His agent goes on the record and says the deal is done and thanks Jerry Jones for all he has done. And then at that point, the Cowboys wanted to put uh, wanted to put language in the contract to protect themselves, oh. uh, you know, in case some stuff happened with Randy Gregory that had happened previously in his career. And his agent said, we're just not going to do that. So he took him to Denver. Hey, I've had a couple of those situations where we have an agreement. Uh huh. Then it gets papered. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. These are a little bit different circumstances than we had agreed to. What is this all about? Oh, you're trying to fuck me. That's I, I assume that's what Randy Gregory mm-hmm. and his people took that as. Yeah, I think basically, yeah. Uh, now, from the Cowboys' perspective, I get it because, first of all, they've – I mean, this is like someone they've worked with for years. Agreed. He's a lot. They have done an incredible job on – you know, there were some drug issues, but also some, like, mental health issues. They have helped him through. But then there's also the business side where it's like they need to make sure that they're okay if something happens. And I think that Randy Gregory and his agent like that very much. So they said, you know what? Good feelings aside – uh, this is business, and we're going to Denver. So that couldn't have been discussed while they were discussing the entire thing. They must have felt like they were blindsided by that and felt like there yeah. was a lack of trust and respect agree. or something like that. It's always interesting agree. how the business goes. Okay, so that that's what we've gotten from the Pat McAfee show with the Rap Report. That was, you know, earlier today and stuff. And Mike Fisher's gone on, and he's talked about, you know, the, the agent and stuff. It, you know, here's the thing that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, is why would the agent say we have a deal and thank the Jones family, and then all of a sudden, no, we don't have a deal. We're going to Denver. I that's where I'm. That's the part I'm. I'm kind of mystified for him. I haven't seen Mike Fisher's video or anything like that, so I don't know. You know, maybe you guys have different insight and stuff. I've been rather busy here. More times than not, I don't have time to watch everybody um, on YouTube and stuff. But thanks to da 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 damn Gina, and as we're, we're going through and, and getting the information as we get it, um, she actually sent the clause um, from it. I, it's it's really small, and I, I let me grab my glasses. Okay. Now, we're told that everybody on the Cowboys have this in their contract, okay? 
All right. So, but but here, here's here's the point of contention is, okay, in the event at any time during the NFL's players' contract year, any of the following occur for any reason whatsoever, players shall be deemed in default of the guaranteed um, without club's express prior written, written consent. Player fails or refuses to report to club or fails to refuse to practice or play for the club. The player fails or refuses to report for the club ordered medical care or treatment for any reason, including but not limited to due to the player's injury as a result of a breach of paragraph three of the NFL's player's contract, participating in hazardous activities that affect the player's ability to perform under the services in the player's contract or the ability that involves a significant risk of player's injury and is non-football in nature, including but not limited to skydiving, hand gliding, bungee jumping, rock or mountain climbing, scuba diving, surfing, skiing, surfboarding, auto racing, motocross, playing basketball, use of firearms, fireworks, or explosive, or player leaves club for reasons whatever and without club express written consent including without limitations voluntary uh retirement um i can't read that one or detained by any law enforcement personnel for more than 72 hours or player is suspended by the nfl or the club for any reason whatsoever the player is fined or suspended by the nfl and or club is conducted uh, detrimental to the club and or NFL player is fined or suspended for violating the NFL policy and programs or her substance abuse, the NFL policy on uh, anabolic steroids or related substances, or the NFL's player contact policy, player engaged in contact reasonably judged by club to adversely reflect on the club or player takes any action or makes any public comment to the media, including but not limited to any newspaper, magazine, television station, radio station, social media, or internet that the club deems is sold in its own sole discretion, breaches or obligates obligation of loyalty to the club and or undermines the public respect for or critical, critical of players' teammates, club ownership, Coaches, management, operations, medical or football personnel or policy, player commits any forfeited breach. Any forfeited breach. Okay, so if you go on and say, you know what, the Cowboys stink, they could go ahead and say your contract is gone. Uh, unless you're Dak Prescott. If the player is in default, then the guarantees shall immediately be deemed null and void from the beginning and the entirety, regardless of whether or not. The guarantee had otherwise been earned according to terms of the time of the player's default. In the case of such default, player shall be entitled to earn the paragraph salary as uh, the NFL player's contract on a weekly non guarantee Okay, so here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. If this is put into your contract, basically, they have an easy way out. They, If they decide, you know what? We, we don't want you anymore. We can, we can find a reason. There's enough vagueness in here. There's enough vagueness in here that you could terminate the guaranteed contract. This is what DeMario Davis taught me when he was leaving the Jets and became a free agent. That he is a sole proprietorship. He is a 1099 employee. He's got to pay his own taxes. He is his own corporation, okay? And you have to do what's best for you. If you're saying that this contract is in Randy Gregory's thing with the Cowboys and the same amount of money is in with Denver, Denver's a better deal. Denver's a better deal. And let me say this much. Okay, let me say this much. Again, it doesn't really matter. He's gone. But if you have to go into a relationship, okay, if you are with somebody and you have to sleep with your eye open, you 
because you're afraid they're going to cheat on you or they're going to kill you or something, that's probably not the right relationship to go ahead and try and make a long-term relationship. If you have to put in all of these outs and everything else to say, we love you and here's the money, then maybe you shouldn't be going into this contract after all. Now, we're told that this isn't everybody's contract, but this contract right here, this favors the organization. Here's the thing, and, and this is where the contracts, we, we all think the players, oh, you know, we, we, we love them. They should take a team-friendly deal. You know what? Blake Jarwin signed a deal with the Cowboys and said, hey, hey here we go. You know, I'm here. I'm, I'm working out. I'm, I'm towing the company line. I'm, I'm, I'm following along all this. And his body fails him. Guess what? Boy, bye. Just last week. We had a contract. Didn't we have a contract? You expect me to live up to all of these rules of the contract, but you have an out? Right? Here it is with Amari Cooper. You know, you have in this contract that you cannot go on air in magazine, television, internet, Joe Boo Sports Report, and say anything derogatory about the Dallas Cowboys. Isn't that what I said? Isn't that what it says? But didn't 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 they go? But but didn't they just do the exact opposite with Randy? And aren't they doing this kind of now? They're going kind of here. It is. Hey, you know what? Well, he's had substance abuse problems and mental health issues and drug problems. If the player did that with you guys. You would terminate his contract. There's no, you know, even Steven here. Let, let me see if I can find that again. I, again, this is so small. Uh, participating hazardous. Let's see. Fireworks. Let me let me see. Player fair, player fails to report. Um. Fine. If he's fined or suspended. Um, uh, yeah, I can't find it now. Damn it. Was that the clubs? Let's see. Um, he's suspended by the team. Anyway. Oh, here we go. Hold it. Player engages in conduct, conduct reasonably judged by club to be adversely reflect the club. Player takes action or makes any public comment to media, included but not limited to any newspaper, magazine, television station, radio station, social media, or internet. The club deems, determines, in its sole discretion, so they're the judge and executioner, breaches any obligation of loyalty to club and undermines the public respect for or is critical of players, teammates, club, ownership, coaches, management, operations, medical or football personnel. So when, when we have that the team says that Amari Cooper is giving up on plays and he checks out, isn't that exactly what they put in the contract and say that you can't do? I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just Joe the fan here. I'm, I'm just saying that they breached the contract they're making the players sign, and now you're saying – it's well. It's the agent. It's the agent's fault. So, oh, we do this to everybody. Just because you do this to everybody, you know, <laughs> we used to have slaves that got whipped. Well, all the slaves got whipped. So that makes it right. Does that make it right? I mean, just because everybody does it, I, I remember saying that to my dad. Well, you know, I got in trouble for something. My dad, I, the dad, everybody does it. You're not everybody, and it's not right. And that's why your ass is on punishment. So this is, to me, I, we're, we're missing the big picture. We're missing the big picture. If you, re, I, I, I don't know, like I said, I, I don't know if Mike Fisher read this. And I understand why the team wants to do this because the team wants to turn around and say, hey, we can get out of this shit easy. I mean, this is, you know, you could say, well, you know what, <laughs> with, with the players, because this this is I'm I'm gonna go ahead and get on I'm gonna get my soapbox here because see this is the kind of bullshit that you get this is a bigger picture 
See, the NFL, after, you know, the concussion movie came out, and, and maybe, you know, this might be the end of my channel. I don't know because maybe I'm talking too much. But when the concussion movie came out and all of the, 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 the knowledge about concussions happened, the NFL acted by saying, oh, we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a, found, a fund for concussions. We're going to do this. We're going to take care of the players. We're going to set up medical care and stuff. The medical care, the last I checked, and I could be wrong on this, originally was only for like three or four years. You got to understand that these guys are going to be screwed up for the rest of their life. You don't get screwed up from playing football two, three years later, you're fine. Ask Brad Johnson how his body is right now. With the concussion settlement, here's what the NFL was doing. This practice, they just ended because they got bad publicity on it a couple of months ago called race norming. What they basically were doing is they were grading on a curve between Caucasian players and players of color. If you were a player of color, then the curve was down lower because they were saying your cognitive um, thoughts ability was reduced less than others. And so what happened is a lot of players, they basically were told by the doctor, if your husband had been white, he would have been in the settlement. But because of the race norming, where they're automatically saying, because you're you know, a black person, your cognitive functions were less to start with. And they could justify then not paying the players who are the ones that have built this empire that's worth billions. So I can't honestly look at this and say, you mean I don't have this in Denver? It's the same money? And they're not holding all the cards where I can get kicked out? Uh, Randy, if you, if, if you only devise you, what's the better deal? Go to Denver. They can't just say your contract's voided because, you know, you, you went on and, and said something negative by accident to a YouTuber that they deemed negative. They can't do that there. They can do that in Dallas. They can't do it over there. So you guys can say that I'm an idiot and I don't know. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, you know, we try and figure all this stuff out. This thing has been constantly evolving all day. And, and you know, there is, <clears throat> when you first see something, sometimes what you see at first isn't always what the reality is. And, and again, yeah, the agent, he may be a Denver fan. He may say, hey, I'd like to see you in Denver. But if you're saying that these two things are equal, they're not. Not, not after reading that. That's, I'm telling you. You know, and if that's in every Dallas Cowboys player, wow. I mean, that means if, you know, you decide, hey, guess what? I'm going on vacation to uh, Cabo. And guess what? I'm going to go parasailing. You know what? That could be cause if they want to get rid of you, you know what? You engaged in dangerous activity. You went parasailing on vacation. We've seen Tom Brady where he's out you know, in, in the off season and he's jumping off a cliff into the water. That's right there. That right there. That is hazardous. Uh, doing something hazardous that if they wanted to, they could say, there goes your guaranteed money. See, that's what, and, and I doubt, I doubt that the team has ever gone through and done any of this stuff. But it's not what you think will happen. It's what legally can happen, and you have to be prepared for that. So with that being said, I, I've got to go out here and pour another, uh, do another pour on these butcher blocks and stuff out there. So uh, I've got to go take care of some business because you know, I'm going to be on the road tomorrow, and I want to at least set the record straight as far as with the information that we have. And I'm never going to say that I get everything right. And we can, you know, when, we, when all this stuff's happening, we're trying to bring it to you guys in real time. And let me say, damn Gina, 
thank you very much for sending me all of the information that you do, as well as my man, Cameron. All right, Billings. And with that being said,